What's up, y'all? It's your boy Roz here with Proceed with Cars and Blog. And today I'm reviewing a new MP3 album by Jafar Life called Nadra. Now, let me tell you where I'm coming from as far as Jafar Life. Some reviewers won't tell you they have a bias or whatnot. I definitely do have a bias. Not against Jafar Life, but it's more of the musical side of Jafar Life. Of course, 99 Pages of Life came out. Very innovative album. He had the hardcore beats. He had the ill samples. He had the voice, which, I mean, he has a distinct voice. I mean, that you can just listen to all the time, no homo. Um, you know what I'm saying? The lyrics, just the poetic style of rapping, the storytelling. It was just a banging EP. As they say in the East Coast, a banging. You know, they love to say banging. It was a banging EP. You know what I'm saying? For me, it was a personal classic. Because I can get this. I gave, you know what I'm saying? Not gay, I didn't bootleg it. But I told people about Page of Life, secular people. They get into the whip. They was feeling it. It was a street album. Sort of like when I gave Mark of the East. Of course, Mark of the East was a street album. A lot of people during that time, on say, friends, they were feeling it. Same thing with um, Pages of Life. So... Then he came out with the next full length, years later, the Healer LP. And I was not feeling it at all. I'm like, man, you had the street bass. I thought he was going to build upon that. And then it was just, for me, it was just like listening to a commercial rapper. So was not feeling it. He changed lanes. So I wasn't really feeling it. And then I heard clips of the other album, but I didn't even buy it. Last year, I heard the, of course, stuff off of his MySpace of the Miss Day was supposed to come out. And I was like, well, it ain't underground, but at least it's East Coast. I like his lyrics of flow. I was like, maybe I'll give his new LP a chance. And then, of course, he came out with um, the first single off of this. So, I said, man, let me give him, let me give him a chance, download it. And let me tell you. I like this. I like this this um, MP3 album because it reminds me sort of like the vibe of a Nas. You remember Nas started off sort of like the same way Street Dude, dope production, etc. And then the production side went down. The lyrics were there, but you know what I'm saying. He was he never lived up to the to the Illmatic status. But remember when he dropped Stillmatic? The production was there. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a good, of course, Illmatic, but it was a good album. So that's how I feel about Nazareth. It's better than Pages of Life? Nah, but it's a good album. So some of my favorite songs on here, Crack House Blues. I like the, the drum, man. I like the feel of it. I like the storytelling, how he's schooling this young cat who want to get into the drug, drug game. Like, yo, this is the different sides. This is the other side, not what you see. As far as, you know, even in in secular rap, the Rick Rosses and all these cats who, Jeezy's who promote the drug life. But hey, they ain't telling you the other side. So you really schooling them. Dope production. Very, feels like a Pages of Life type of East Coast vibe, heartbeat. Uh, another song, Think What We Have. That's a dope song to me as well. Has like the sped up sample, maybe something like maybe Alchemist would do. Um... I love his rap style on here. Another dope song. Um, let's see what else. Uh, does anybody know? Yeah, everybody, y'all should have heard that by now. Of course, that's an ill storytelling song. Love that song. Uh, Don't Keep Me Waiting. I like this song mainly because I like Jafar Life singing, man. I love when he sings on hooks, man. And it's just, you know, melodic, man, when he can sing, you know what I'm saying? So, sort of like, I ain't saying he's, like, the greatest singer in the world, but has that melodic feel. So, sort of like, when, you know what I'm saying, 50 Cent is hey day, when you, you get those songs, man, and they sing the hook, and you just want to sing it. So, that's what I liked about that. Uh, what's another one? Pain. That's another song I like with the singing, man. Nice hooks. Now, the negative... Uh, this album ain't really nothing like lyrically like oh man I ain't really feeling it ain't really no songs on here that like lyrically I ain't feeling but the negative of this album and I'm gonna get killed for this it 
It's the mix, man. The mix. I mean, I had to cut. So, so you had just got to really cut it up loud to really bang it. And I compared that with other CDs. I like. I, I put it in like the show Baraka CD. I didn't have to cut it up as loud as I had to cut up this CD. So the mix, man, on some songs, it's not good at all. So if you like real particular about that type of stuff, and I ain't no producer, no engineer, nothing like that. I don't really know about mixes, but from my friends who are producers, they tell you like that stuff gotta sound even. If you gotta crank it up real loud and stuff like that, that's not a good mix. So to me, it's not really a good mix on this album, and that hurts it. So that's gonna turn you off. You might not want to pick it up if stuff like that really bothers you. But other than that, man, the lyrics is there. This is his stillmatic. I'm saying you definitely see a, a return of the harder beats. Kid Classic, he's a good producer. Is he great? Some songs he's real good at. Some songs, yeah, they okay. But I think he's an overall good producer. I'm glad, you know what I'm saying, he brought him back to the more street vibe. So that's my review. Kobe Sutton, I'm out.